all players. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's talk about Georgia just the boy to dress Santos escaping that expulsion vote yesterday. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, when you hear what Jamie Raskin had to say about it, his statement, maybe you'll understand a little bit more why some of the Democrats actually voted to not expel Georgia just the boy to dress Santos. Grab that tea. Have a seat. Let's get into it. So as we know, yesterday, Georgia Just a Boy and Dress Santos faced an expulsion vote in the House of Representatives. Now, this resolution was introduced by some representatives from New York. They said that Georgia Just a Boy and Dress Santos is nothing but a con. Simply put, he's another frumpy to the motherfucking dump. This resolution to expel Georgia Just the Boy and Dress Santos was introduced last month after prosecutors in New York filed a superseding indictment alleging that George of Just the Boy and Dress Santos, honey, was cunning the people and using their credit cards. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, George of Just the Boy and Dress Santos has pleaded not guilty to those charges as well as the uh, charges that he faced previously. But baby, this right here pissed the Republicans off. So they introduced that resolution and yesterday they voted on whether to expel George Santos. But for the purposes of this body, we now have more than enough information from a court of law with the guilty plea of his treasurer to expel him from Congress. When you can sit with a straight face and say that you attended an institution like Baruch College or that you were a volleyball superstar, when you can make up the fact that your mother was in the Twin Towers on September 11th with not even an ounce of shame or remorse, you're unfit to serve. And not only do members of the United States House of Representatives want George, I'm just a born and dressed Santos gone, but also uh, members of the New York State House of Representatives sent in letters saying, hey, George, I'm just a born and dressed Santos got to go. Well, yesterday, George, I'm just a born and dressed Santos actually survived that expulsion resolution. 24 Republicans and 155 Democrats voted to expel his ass and 182 Republicans and 31 Democrats voted to not expel him. I declare, honey, what is going on here? Now, we know that the agenda that the Republicans have to keep George on just the board address Santos is simply to keep a good control over the House. If they get rid of George Santos, uh, it is likely that a Democrat may be appointed to that seat. So, uh, but what's up with the 31 Democrats? Now, Representative Jamie Raskin actually issued this statement, and I thought it was very compelling. In this statement, he said, if they voted to expel George of Just a Born Address Santos without due process, meaning him being convicted in a court of law in the crimes that he's being accused of, it would be a terrible precedent to set. He says if and when George Santos is convicted of these serious criminal offenses or ethics charges, I will certainly vote to expel. Until then, it's very risky road to go down and we have to stick by due process and the rule of law. As obvious as the eventual result seems. Meaning, we know George, I'm just a boy to dress Santos did that shit, but we got to wait until he is convicted to vote because it sets a horrible precedent. Now, players, I really want to know what you think about this. Me personally, I would have voted to expel his ass. I agree that there is enough F evidence in the indictments to uh, get rid of George Santos. He lied about pretty much everything. But I want to know what y'all think. Put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is Double D Mubba reporting for the Black Accurate News.